we're going to 34th and 8th. <laughs> you guys are in the cash cab. It's a TV game show. It takes place right here in my tent. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Hi. Hi. How are you? Great. Have you, heard awesome. the, have you heard the show? Are you nice. with the cash cab? Yeah. Cool. Well, you are on it now, and here's how it's going to work. I'm your host. My name is Ben Bailey. I'm going to drive you guys to your destination. I'm going to ask you general knowledge questions along the way. They'll start off easy and get harder as we go. As long as you keep answering those questions correctly, you're going to win cash money all the way from here to there. But if you get three wrong, I'm going to pull over and kick you out right where we are, and you'll lose it all. Watch it. All right, so those are the rules of the game. What do you say? Do you want to play? Yeah. All right, let's take a ride in the cash cab. <laughs> all right, guys, here we go. So what are your names? Uh, Jason. Jen. Mario. Welcome to the Cash Cab, folks. You're headed up to 34th and 8th. That's going to give you 40 blocks to rack up as much money as possible. So let's get started. Are you ready? Oh, yes. yeah. All right, here we go. These first questions are worth 50 bucks a piece. Here's your first one. In 2010, Cornell researchers tracked the growth of meal portions over the past millennium by studying paintings of what biblical event? Last Supper? Yeah. <laughs> the Last Supper? Last Supper is correct. Getting on board with 50 bucks. Let's see if you can double it. In 2010, a storm in Amsterdam toppled the chestnut tree that brightened the days of what famous young diarist? Anne Frank. I would Was imagine. I don't know any other diarists. Okay, and then Anne Frank. Yes, Anne Frank is correct, Yay. and that's two for two, and you're up to 100 bucks. Let's see if we can make it 150. Operated by Mozilla, what web browser is named for an unusual animal that is more commonly known as the red panda? Uh, no, Firefox. Firefox is what I saw right. immediately. Yes. Okay. Firefox. Firefox is correct. Three yeah. for three. All right. Perfect so far. That's three for three. You're up to one fifty. Here's your final fifty dollar question. Thirty two blocks to go. In 1945, Fortune magazine named Eleanor Roosevelt the most famous woman in America. What fictional baking icon was number two? Mrs. Betty Crocker. Crocker. I, didn't, that's I thought she might be real. I, thought, I, didn't too. I guess not. So okay, let's we're say, fine. All right, Betty Crocker. Yes, Betty Crocker. Yay! And you're four for four. I can't believe she's not real. It's only worth it. All right, four for four on the fifty dollars questions. Those are now done. These next questions are worth a hundred bucks each, and they're a little bit harder. Better known as a physicist and mathematician, Sir Isaac Newton spent much of his career practicing what mythical cousin of chemistry? Um, um, it's alchemy. 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 What else? Would it be? Yeah. Alchemy. Yes, alchemy is right, and that's good for a hundred, and you're up to three hundred. What a waste of time! <laughs> All right, three hundred. Let's see if we can make it four hundred. In a classic viral video, 200 liters of Diet Coke and 500 Mentos are used to mimic the famed fountain of what Las Vegas hotel? The Bellagio. The Bellagio. The Bellagio is correct, and that's good for another 100, and you're up to 400. All right, 24 blocks to go. Here's your next question for 100 more. It's still perfect. No yeah. strikes. You still have both your shout-outs, and you're up to 400 bucks. Named for an urban bird, what orthopedic condition is characterized by the inward pointing of the metatarsus? Pigeon toe? Pigeon toe. Pigeon toe. Yes, pigeon toe or pigeon toe is correct. And you're up to 500. In baseball, what staple of deli cuisine is used to describe a situation in which a player is stranded between two bases? Oh, sports question. Oh, no. Deli cuisine. Roast. Um, <laughs> um, ham. Uh, Five seconds. seconds. Oh, yeah. Shout out. A shout out. All right. You want to use a mobile or a street shout out? We'll do a mobile. All right. Yeah. Who are you going to call? We're going to call our friend Ryan. Ryan. All right. Go ahead and get your phone out. Give Ryan a call. Hey, Rebecca. What's up? I'm on the cash cab and I wanted to ask you a question. Do <laughs> <laughs> you want this? <laughs> All right. Here we go. In baseball. In are you listening? <laughs> in baseball. What staple of deli cuisine? What? In baseball, what staple of deli cuisine is used to describe a situation? Is, is used to describe a situation in which a player is stranded between two bases. In which a player is stranded between two bases. Pickle. Yes, I thought of it. Pickle. Pickle is correct. Yeah. That's good for a hundred. And you're up to 600. 
How did you guys not know that? <laughs> oh, really? All right, that's it for the hundreds. These next questions are worth 200 bucks each, yeah. and they're even harder. We got 16 blocks to go. For 25 years after the restoration of Charles II, what British leader's head was displayed on a pole outside Westminster Abbey? Cromwell. Cromwell. Okay. Cromwell. Okay. Yes. Oliver Cromwell. Oliver Cromwell. Yes, Oliver Cromwell is right. Yeah. And we're up to 800. Here's your next question for 200 more. Meaning voice of the people, what Latin term is used in broadcasting to describe a man on the streets interview? Is this on Box Populi? Box Populi? Yeah. Box Populi. Yes, that is correct. Yeah. Good for another 200. <laughs> and you're up to 1,000. 10 blocks to go, guys. you got to make it 10 more blocks. All You've right. got 1,000. Let's see if you can make it 1,200. Used by paleontologists when dating fossils, the abbreviation MYA stands for what measurement of time? Is it millions years ago, do you think? Do you have that a... sounds silly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Five seconds. Say, well, that's silly. I say, you don't have any stories. I say, so yeah. say million, something. Million years ago. Million years ago is Could correct, I... and that's good for another 200. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> and you're up to 1,200. Let's see if you can make it 14. Six blocks to go. Awarded a posthumous Pulitzer Prize, what holy figure of jazz composed the revered classic Round Midnight? Miles Davis? Oh no, strike one. Come on. Thelonious Monk. All right, that's one strike, guys. That means two more, and I have to kick you out. All right, it looks like this is going to be your final question because we've got about a block and a half to go. All right. You have 1,200. This will be to bring you up to 14. In ancient Greece, what military formation consisted of a tightly knit wall of spearmen with overlapping shields? Is it phalanx? Is that how you say phalanx? I don't think it's phalanx. <laughs> phalanx. Phalanx is correct. Yeah. And we're here, so you just won fourteen hundred bucks in the cash oh, cow. All right, congratulations, guys. You've made it here. I've got the fourteen hundred right here. I can give it to you now. You can take it, be on your way, or you can stick around and risk everything. And go double or nothing on a video <laughs> bonus question. Now here's how the video bonus question works. I'll play you guys a video clip. I'll ask you one question about that video clip. If you get it wrong, you lose the 1400 But if you get it right, you're going to double your money. You're going to climb out of the cash cab with $2,800. So talk it over for a second, and then let me know what you want to do. Uh, we'll do it. We're definitely going to do it. You're going to go for it? Yeah, we're going to go for it. Well, let's go with the video bonus. Yes. All right, guys, here we go. This is it. This All is right. a big moment. It's for $2,800 or $0. Take a look at the screen, and good luck. Enjoying an all-you-can-eat buffet, these birds have sensitive bills that allow them to scoop up shrimp, minnows, and other tasty treats. Named for its distinctive beak, what is this well-equipped type of water bird? Hornbill. Uh, think, like, think what it looks like. A hornbill. Oh my goodness, I'm sad right now. I don't now. think it's <laughs> Oh my god. Whatever. Okay. All right, we're going to need an answer, guys. All right. Hornbilled heron. <laughs> oh, no, Hornbill Heron is incorrect. <laughs> but I like it. Uh, it's a Thank nice you. bird that you made up. Thank you. <laughs> it's called a spoonbill. Spoon. A spoonbill. You did say spoon, didn't you? I, I said scoop. I said scoop. You said scoop. Oh, yeah, I <laughs> Try to steal home and get stuck in a pickle.